Hey Aquarius, hope you guys are doing well. So some messages I was getting for you guys was um, jealous people are going to be coming in the form of helpful people. So like coworkers or friends that want to help you or um, possibly even new love offers. But I feel like their intentions are to gain something from you. Um, another message I was getting was ending something for a different option. So for some of you that's going to be a job, uh, for some of you that's going to be a love situation. For those of you interested in a personal reading, my website is down below. Also, for those of you interested in learning how to read the tarot, my tarot training is down below as well. So we do have the death card coming out with the eight of cups. Yeah, for some of you, you are walking away from a connection, Scorpio energy, also cancer. Um, we do have the two of cups here as well with the star. So I feel like there's going to be a new connection coming in but I feel like for a lot of you you're walking away from this connection for yourself I'm also getting for some of you you need to reconnect with yourself so you have to leave um, this situation to kind of get your energy back we do have the wheel of fortune here the ace of wands and the seven of swords so with the wheel of fortune here I definitely feel this cycle that you've ended this is like a karmic connection here um, was supposed to end for a reason. We do have the Ace of Wands with the Seven of Swords. So there is going to be a new connection coming in. I'm also getting for some of you, um, of course, I will clarify the cards, but I feel like for some of you, there is a new connection that is being hidden from you, or of course, this cross watch or vice versa energy. Spirit, what are the messages for Aquarius? Yeah, the Seven of Cups. Somebody's pursuing other options. For some of you, you have left a connection to pursue other options. Um, the Nine of Cups with the Knight of Swords. I feel like you're communicating with somebody or you're going to be communicating with somebody that, you know, it's it's very fun. The Knight of Cups is like wish fulfillment. So like maybe you were having really good conversation with this person. Uh, it could be another air sign, Gemini, but Aquarius energy that's coming in. For some of you, it's going to be an Aries. Uh, but somebody really wants to talk to you. I feel like somebody wishes to be with you, whether this is a new person or somebody from the past. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles is maybe someone you have children with for the Ten of Pentacles energy. Um, a house or a family with. I feel like this person wants to talk to you because they wish um, to reconnect with you or somebody new wishes to connect with you. Why is the death card energy here? The lovers. Yeah. Some of you are walking away from a Gemini. Um, but I do feel like a lot of you are walking away from a relationship or the advice could be to walk away from this relationship. Clarifying the Eight of Cups, we have the Six of Swords. So again, moving on, uh, moving on to calmer waters. Taking new risks as well with the full card. This is taking new risks, whether it has to do with love or uh, business or jobs or whatever, they, or moving even for some of you. Why is the will of fortune here? Yeah, Spirit's urging you. Yeah, the fool wants to come out. Spirit's urging you to pursue new energy. We have the ten of pentacles here with the four of pentacles. So for some of you, you're wanting to hold on to this connection because of the family maybe you guys family's got closed maybe you do have children uh you know whatever the case is you guys have built something together with this ten of pentacles energy so it's like for some of you i feel like you're a little bit on the fence about letting go why is the ace of wands energy here the two of pentacles yeah do you choose this or this new beginning i feel like for some of you you are choosing between this and a new beginning with somebody else or just a new beginning in general why is the seven of swords energy here for aquarius yeah for some of you you're going to be walking away because you find out something the moon um this is something being kept in the dark the moon is secrets the eight of cups is walking away so you're going to find out whatever it is that you're confused about you're going to find out somebody has bad intentions the five of swords energy we do have the king of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck for some of you can be dealing with a earth sign taurus Virgo, capricorn also have leo here with the sun card um but yeah you're going to find out about some sort of secret why is the moon card here they just told me cancer as well for some of you. Some sort of communication. The Knight of Swords here twice. Maybe you found some communication that made you want to walk away from somebody. Maybe you found out that your person was dealing with somebody else. Why is the Seven of Cups energy here? The King of Cups. Yeah, for some of you, you're going to be pursuing a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. We have an Earth sign here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I also have another Gemini here for some of you. Um, but you got a lot of options. I definitely feel there's a lot of people coming towards you right now as far as love options. Why is the Nine of Cups energy here? The Chariot. Yeah, you just want to move forward. And I feel like you're ready to pursue what you want to do in work. We do have the Eight of Pentacles here with the Chariot. So you want to make something successful or something is becoming uh, very successful for you. And you want that to be your focus. 
why is the knight of swords energy here some sort of information coming to you you are going to be getting information about this situation uh could have to do with a marriage uh some sort of communication here some sort of contract maybe you have to get out of some sort of contract it could be a home why is the hierophant here the three of swords yeah for some of you it's going to be a divorce uh, possibly something to do with children, child support, custody, things like that. The justice card. Do you know something's going to work out in your favor, though? If you're already dealing with this situation, it's going to work out in your favor. The Nine of Cups. This is the ideal outcome. Why is the Ten of Pentacles energy here? Why is the Ten of Pentacles energy here? Okay. Ten of Cups with the Emperor. Yeah, something way better is coming in. You got the Ten of Cups out twice and the Ten of Pentacles out twice. You're manifesting what it is that you want. But I feel like it's advice is to, like, for those of you that are still in this situation, because I'm definitely feeling like for a lot of you, you're already starting to feel these benefits of the decision you made. But for those of you that are still on the fence, um, trying to figure out what it is that you want to do, the Death card came out first with the Lovers. Advice is to end this connection if this is what you're debating on because something like what you truly want is hasn't been revealed to you yet. The moon, this is things happening behind the scenes. The universe orchestrating events for you to have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles energy with somebody because it's coming in for you. It's just not with the person that you're with for some of you. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you'd like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also, for those of you interested in learning how to read the tarot, my tarot trink, or hello, my tarot link is down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.